woke up this morning and the chicken's water turned to ice. Thanks. I think they're thirsty. So it's getting quite a bit colder out. The other day I woke up and all the water was frozen in the chicken coop. And the goat's water was frozen, the pig's water was frozen. So it's about time we start thinking about how to keep the water from freezing. I feel like this project's been a long time coming because we've been working on this for two days now. I'm trying to figure out what the best way is to not only heat our water, but also to keep it um, constantly circulating so we don't have to change it out as often. So, uh, Mary Kate came across a video from Carolina Coops. Is that who it was? Yeah. We're kind of taking that and trying to DIY it. Um, and it's been, <laughs> it's taken a couple days and multiple attempts and trips to Lowe's and Home Depot and Menards to try to get all the right stuff to make this work. And I'm pretty sure, hopefully, today we're gonna get it all together. I'm gonna list everything down in the comments, um, what exactly we use to do this. So if you um, have a bunch of chickens too and wanna do this for your chickens, hopefully you can avoid the multiple trips to Home Depot. So before we put this all together, let me show you all the pieces that we finally settled on. We got obviously a 30 gallon bucket. We just picked it up from a guy on Facebook Marketplace. We got this brass hose bib that will go on the outside here. And then this here will screw on on the inside of the bucket just to secure it in place. So it's not gonna go anywhere. From the hose bib, we're gonna go to this three quarter inch um, line. This is actually used for washers. So a three quarter inch um, hose for washers. Water's gonna come out of this end and it's gonna go into this pump here. Now to get from the washer to the pump, we'll need an adapter. We end up with this three quarter inch to half inch garden hose adapter. Which will go on this end. Allows us to attach the pump on this end. We want this pump to push water through this two inch PVC pipe. So to go from half inch to two inches, we use this T and we put a um, end cap on there so we can just drain out the water if we need to drain any of it out. So this will attach to this. Connect it here. Water will be pumped through the pipe. We have these horizontal nipples that we'll use to put in the sides of the PVC. So on the other side here, we have another two inch to half inch T. I'll put on there just an end cap that'll go on the end. And then we have this vinyl hose, but to get from this half inch hole here into the hose, we had to get this half inch to half inch barbed adapter. We'll screw into the half inch hole and then just allow us to push this on. So the water will flow back out of there and back into our bucket. Goats are gonna join us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the most important part. We got the stock tank de-icer that we'll actually place into the bucket here. Our bucket doesn't have a lid on it. So we're gonna just kind of cut it out and create another lid to go on top. So we're actually going to have this barrel um, be outside the coop. The main reason that we're going to have it outside here is that eventually we're going to have gutters up on top and we're going to have the gutters just feeding um, the water and for us so we don't have to worry about filling it up as often. What? It's like, what do we do? important thing is is that uh, it says that you can do the 5 8 drill bit 
with it, but it recommends the 1132 drill bit. So the first time we did it with a 5 8 and every single nipple was leaking. So we went and got the 1132 and it seems to be threading on much more fit. You can say that with a straight face. Leaking nipples. Yes. <laughs> Put this guy into our barrel here. You have to drill a one inch hole. This is pretty snug on there, so that's not going anywhere. What is that, a mouse? Oh god, that's a big one. Ooh. Is it alive? Oh god. So we've got this PVC cement. It reminds me of Pippi Longstocking, that guy, you know, uh, that he climbs up the wall. What is that stuff? This is a very special glue. Well, what do we do now? Now you're going to climb up the wall. There, go on, you can do it. Anyways, so you got this PVC glue. All right, so we have our completed chicken pipe. Now we just have to go in and hook it all up. Coming in, chickens. Coming in hot. <laughs> hey, lay off it. This is their coop. Get out of here. So to actually hold up the pipe, we got these things. I forget what they're called. They come in like a roll. You have to cut them with snips. But they've been very handy to have around the farm. We use it for lots of different things. I'll figure out what they are and link to them below. So another thing that the Carolina Coop guy said was to make sure that this is at a slight incline so that there's no air bubbles getting back into the pump. So we'll try to make sure that we do that. All right, we should just be able to plug it in and we'll see if it works. All right, tell my truth. Sorry to bother you, that's bad. All right, let's plug this in. So we should see You'll get water out of there pretty soon. Yeah, I hear it, yeah. Oh yeah, it's getting some water, see? It's working. It's working! Oh, here comes the water out of there. So, last thing I want to show you guys is the Carolina Coop guys recommended this thermostat outlet to use with the pump. So by using this, the pump would only run 
at certain temperatures, on at 38 degrees Fahrenheit, off at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, look at it. They're liking it. You know you guys don't have to fight over the same one. <laughs>